Hey guys, welcome back to another Albin Online video. This one is meant to be an update to my old Welcome to Albin Online video, which I posted nine months ago. Yes, you heard right, nine months have passed. The game and my own view of the game have changed a lot during this time. There are two major reasons why I felt there was a need to do another informal video about Albion. We're going to talk about them later. For now, for all the new viewers, let me tell you what Albion Online is about and why do I care so much. Albion Online is a sandbox MMORPG with fully player-driven economy, a classless system with progression in every activity you perform. You are what you wear is the slogan of the game. So why am I making this video? The first reason is simple, the content has changed. Recently Sandbox Interactive released their major content update Oberon, which introduced random dungeons and new PvE experience that wouldn't fit any game better than Albion Online. It's been by far the best part so far and made a lot of people come out of the cities and explore the open world again. SBI posted this picture recently. It shows the amount of daily players. You'll notice the difference yourself. The daily active player count almost doubled. I know, never trust statistic, but I can clearly say that the game feels more alive than ever. You're meeting people everywhere. You probably already noticed something else in this picture. The game is going free to play on the 10th of April. That's not far and it marks the second reason why I'm releasing this video. The developers say themselves that I think this is the best time to make this step, since they finally added a real tutorial to the game in addition to the better PvE experience, making it a lot easier for new players to learn about the game and progress by themselves. So am I here to advertise a PvE game? Oh well no. The real reason why this game is so different from any other MMO is because it's an open world full loot PvP game. This means you can find content for every group size, from small to large scale, from 1v1 all the way up to 200 vs 200. The so-called endgame content is all about fighting for objectives, fighting over territories, cities and valuable loot, but mostly it's about the fun and fighting experience because the PvP plays like a MOBA, easy to control and always focus around your character. But wait, there's more. Didn't you say something about player-driven economy? Yes, and that means every equipable item is player crafted. I've personally crafted thousands of items myself, to use them myself, how about my guild, or to simply sell them on one of the local markets. There's a niche for everyone. Be it a gatherer, a fisherman, a farmer, a crafter, a trader, a mob slayer, or a fighter. Albion is what you make it. So now if you're interested to try out the game for free, I'll be here to help you. First of all, it would help me a lot if you sign up through my referral link. You can find the link in the description. I created a guild on my old character. Apply to skip the mob or simply add whoopsie to your friend list. You can see the name displayed on the screen right now. Don't hesitate to add my main elf forward to your friends as well. I don't bite. The guild is going to be located in Bridgeport in the beginning and we're going to move to Carleon, the main city, at a later point. Basically when you guys are more experienced. I'll try to do activities with you guys as much as possible after free to play, so feel free to join my public discord. I'm also gonna add a couple tips and stuff in there, just for you. I will support all guild members with gear and help you figure out your role in the world of Albion. Thanks for watching and see you guys another time.